everybody on YouTube. This is MK The Truth, D O D B E N T. Got a good looking pair of lows for us to look at today. If you guys are new to the channel, come on and join the family. Also, connect to my Instagram. It is the underscore truth underscore MK. Also, ladies and gentlemen, all music is produced by me, D O D B. And we upload them here in the background as well. So, I have a pair of retail sneakers for us to look at. Yes, beautiful pair. Oh, I wouldn't let knee slip me by. A beautiful pair of Air Jordan 1 Low Black Toe. Little bit of bars. Let's go ahead and take a gander at what I got. Now, this particular pair of lows is primo. Let me explain. So, I did take the liberty of lacing one of these sneakers up. And I like the red laces in here, man. The highs, I think I did a video a long time ago with the red laces in them. But for some reason, I like these. They, they go a little bit more in the lows. Anyway, let's delve into this beautiful shoe. Now, you see it. Oh, you see it. It's draped in some of the finest of tumbles of leathers on this sneaker. There's not one piece of synthetic leather on this shoe. If you don't know about Joe and Brandon and their leather techniques, sometimes they'll give you a synthetic around the boot, synthetic on the mid panel, then give you a reel around the mud guard, then give you some crap here. This is the part you don't want synthetic, but this shoe has leather. I mean, leather, leather all over the shoe. Now, what's interesting about the shoe is this is supposed to be the black toe low. It doesn't really share the same sort of a textured red leather that the highs have. Now, the highs have like an overlay that's sort of a kind of a semi shiny this one has like a red matte and you can see the dye hasn't I don't know why normally they do dye the reds on these like a little bit more deep of a red I don't know why they went with this sort of a lighter red color on the edges of this leather I don't know why it wasn't dyed to look like that deep deep red anyway I love the way it looks all leather panels are real take a gander Got a reel on the Nike swoosh. Now, this is where they normally give you synthetic. It does have a harder overlay than the rest of it. This has more of a natural black leather. Toe box looking really good. Very nice. Flip around to the boot. Got the Air Jordan with the Wings logo. Nothing too crazy on the medial side. Love the shape. Them red laces, boy. Whew, they looking good. Anyway, got the Nike Air up at the top. And I went with a size 11 this time, man. Them 10s, they've been hurting in this area but i guess it's because this is still sort of that older style of a uh, jordan one anyway they do come with a pair of black laces these look waxed they look waxed a little bit that's what she said nah they, they standards they standards anyway what i did want to show some of you people because someone said something on my woman's unk to chicago he said uh the way you can tell <laughs> which one is real and which one is fake is by how the tumbled leather was on one Nike swoosh and was on the other and I explained to people that that's not true you can have a highly tumbled sneaker and you can have one that's not really tumbled so take a look at this you see that you see how this is highly tumbled and this isn't see this has more kind of a pebble tumble almost and this one has a really hard tumble but these are the things that you want when you have sneakers you want this sort of an inconsistency because that's how you can tell you have uh, real leather on your sneakers. If you have a streamlined look on both shoes, that's really kind of, you might have a synthetic or a synthetic press tumble in your shoe. Anyway, if you look at these, you see how this one has a pebble tumble and you see how this one has a, a thicker tumble. This one has a natural tumble. This one has almost like a pebble tumble. These are the things that I try to explain to you guys over and over and here it is just in the flesh over and over anyway these are looking really good these are things that i've known for years i accept it i don't complain about it it's nothing to complain about although a lot of you take your shoes back to stores because you'll see this you'll be like oh one shoe was tumbled and one shoe was not that is 100 percent normal so let me explain right quick so say you have this 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 piece of leather did not come from the same cow that this came from so when it's in the machine and it's tumbling some parts of the leather is going to get more tumbled than others so that's why you have this part was maybe towards the bottom or something this part was probably towards the middle so that's why you have some that doesn't have as much tumble as others anyway this is a beautiful looking pair of sneakers the air jordan one low black toe i will be going for me another pair of these i don't really need to show y'all nothing else on here but i did want to explain the leather and differences on the leather stop taking your shoes back because of this stupid inconsistency that is something that you want on your shoes because that tells you 
you got real materials anyway let me know what you guys think about these down below this is mk the truth d-o-d-b-e-n-t amen i love y'all i'm about here